Hi guys! This week's recipe vlog features fried roselle leaves with pork. If you want to see the version with shrimp, I do have a video from before and I'll provide a link below. In this video, I'll be showing you how I pre-boil the roselle leaves first to make sure that it's nice and smooth. This is a helpful trick I learned through practice, especially helpful to those living abroad who only have access to imported roselle leaves, which can sometimes be on the tougher side. So let's get this started. Let's prepare the pork first. I'll be using just about 8 ounces and I am thinly slicing it. I find that using pork with a bit of fat makes this dish way more tender and authentic as opposed to using lean pork. If I had the option, I would much rather use tiny baby shrimps. I'm sure there's an actual name for them, but I just call them baby shrimps. But we don't have access to them, so this will do. We do used to add bamboo shoots, but for a while now, we prefer it simple just because as much as I love bamboo shoots, I find that it absorbs too much of the flavors from the roselle leaves. That's just a personal preference. So now that the pork is prepped, on to the next step. The sour leaves or the roselle leaves. For some of you that might not be familiar with this unique vegetable, yes, it is very sour when it eaten on its own, but once cooked with any kind of protein like shrimp or pork plus spices, it's a load of flavors and it complements ridiculously well with each other. After removing the leaves from the stems, wash and put aside. Next, I'm using two large shallots, which I then chopped up finely. After that's chopped up and you've had a good cry, I'm using four cloves of garlic, which I also finely chopped. And now we're ready to cook. For the amount of roselle leaves I'll be using, I'm boiling about two cups of water. At this stage, it's very important to use the right amount of water. Once the water comes to a boil, add the roselle leaves and continue cooking this until 90% of the water is reduced. Keep an eye on this and watch the leaves change colors from green to olive to dark murky green. See now 90% of the liquid is gone, so I'm going to take it off the stove and get started on the next step. On medium heat, I added some oil and now in goes the shallots. Saute this until they're nice and soft. Now for the colors, add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and about two spoons of chili powder. It's looking a little dry, so I'm going to add another drizzle of oil. Next, let's add the pork. At this stage, I'm pretty much just making sure the pork is cooked until it's no longer pink. Now that it's looking cooked, it's time to add some seasoning. I'm adding about two teaspoons of fish sauce. 
Then finally, add the roselle leaves. I know it's not the most visually appealing dish, but I promise it's very tasty. I would describe it as a little sour and savory. And of course, how could you not eat it with rice, right? Anyway, I am curious and would love to know if or how other countries eat this vegetable. So comment below and let me know if you are familiar with this particular vegetable. In addition to fish sauce, I'm also adding some mushroom seasoning. This is just an alternative to using MSG. I want to make sure the dish doesn't dry out, so I'm adding a splash of water. I also like to give it a quick taste and mine needed a little bit of salt. So I added about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, I'm adding some fresh chilies. The only thing that's left is cooking these chilies. Before closing the lid, I'm going to add a splash of water so that it doesn't dry out. After about three to four minutes, the chilies are done. I can tell because of the wrinkles on them. The dish is looking even better. The thin layer of oil bubbling at the top is a good sign that it's done. I have to say this is one of my favorite Burmese dishes of all time. I remember eating this when I went to visit back home and I could probably eat this every day. And this concludes the end of the recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the week. To support the channel, please subscribe below if you haven't already. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.